gem friends welcome back to my channel today i got eclipse probably one of the most anticipated or highest caliber project in my opinion from what i'm excited about in terms of upcoming projects there's a few there's eclipse monad uh, you might have heard of era chain there's some bridges etc but in terms of straight up upcoming projects of eigenlayer which i've talked about before celestia was one of them that's launched and eclipse is my one of my personal up and coming favorite projects now in terms of how I'm going to do the token, etc. trading, that's how per usual I'm going to talk about it when I when the token launches because I don't want people to insta buy something just because I like it. So that's a different story, guys. Valuation is different to what I like about the actual project, the technology, etc. And I'll talk a bit, bit bit more about why I like the project. But in short, uh, as, as usual, nothing I say is financial advice. And in short, what Eclipse is, it's a layer, Ethereum layer 2 with Solana technology. So Solana SVM, best of Solana, the best of Ethereum. And it also uses Celestia data availability, if I remember correctly. So one thing interesting is they recently, just very recently, as you can see, March 11th, they raised a 50 million Series A. Now, before I get into the names, which I find is extremely high, high caliber investors, I just want to talk about the raise. So they raised 65 million. They raised 50 million recently Series A. Pre-seed, they raised 6 million. And they were raised a seed uh, 9 a million. Now, what's interesting is they've got some investors twice. So you've got Polychain here twice. And Polychain's are be the goats of all investors, right? They're like tier 1 plus or whatever highest caliber you want to give them. I'll put them up there literally like a recent crypto, A6 and Z crypto uh, placeholder. So that's one thing. The other thing is, uh, let's just look at some of the names. So you've got placeholder here, which is Chris Bernisky's fund, you got Fambushi Capital, which was Vitalik actually used to be part of this fund, Fambushi Capital. He left it. Delphi Digital is just pure chads. I've, you, if you've seen my videos, you probably know some of these names. They're just top tier, top t tier one plus investors. Like Polygon, Tribe Capital. Now, I want to mention some of the private investors or the solo investors or some of the VCs, you want to call it, or people from different projects. So uh, you can see here, they've raised Delphi Capital and some of these big names. Bankless is really huge. They're like big ethereum you can call them maxis but they're not really maxis they like solana as we know but they like you know big ethereum fans i think he's the co-founder or one of the very higher ups in celestia with mustafa al basam you got someone from solana uh foundation now you have this gentleman here i don't know if you guys heard of him mumtaz he's on he's got he runs a he runs helios lab which is a, a developer company like they they build stuff in ethereum and uh, he's got his own podcast called lightspeed which is one of the best if you're interested in Solana stuff, but he himself generally is a very smart guy. I first of all I haven't seen him invest in a lot of other projects, which is a good thing. And I like a lot of the way he thinks of things. Like uh, a big Solana fan, but like the way he thinks of things is very interesting. Um, you saw uh, if you guys been on Twitter, you would have seen DC investor. He's everywhere. You got Hasu, you got Eric Wall, you got Anthony Sassiano, who's like an OG crypto guy. He runs the Daily Guy, which is like a newsletter slash YouTube videos on Ethereum. So these are like ethereum maxis you won't call them maxis but like the hardcore ethereum guys that are dabbling with ethereum slash solana attack and you got zach btx btc he's like the detective of all of crypto twitter right he's the one that going after all the scammers very good detective detective work and you got melton Dem 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 sorry i might butchered her name but she's very good as well and she is very reputable in this space so just just to give you an idea guys this is tier tier one stuff this is the cream of the crop let's look into we looked into that so let's look into what you actually need to do so now it's very early for guys if you're if you're still watching i'll actually drop something here i have another video actually coming talking about how you can actually run a smart contract or deploy a smart contract on eclipse i've actually managed to do it on my mac but yeah, i've had issues helping other people i'm trying to work out the kinks and then i'm going to do a video on that so keep an eye on for that like the video if you haven't guys already and subscribe if you haven't but right now we're going to do the task that you can do right now and that one's going to be a separate video so first of all what you want to do per usual the link's going to be in the description go on this github site and click on build extension zip download that once you've downloaded it you're going to have to go here uh chrome your extension so just click on any of your extension right click it and then hit manage extension so like here if you go manage extension you're going to come on this page make sure developer mode is on and click on a load unpack once you click on load unpack actually i'll just do it so you guys so it's downloaded and then a load unpack this is my disk it's in my desktop what i'll have to do is unzip it and then once i've unzipped it just go to load unpack and then this is going to be unzipped so just make sure you click on that the unzipped folder the whole folder is going to be called build extension just click on that and hit select once you select it you're going to see this wallet here salmon wallet come up once that come comes up it's going to be here or it's going to be in here so just pin it 
And then once you see that, it's going to tell you to make a wallet or import wallet. I made a new wallet and that's it. And then you'll see your different balances of your different tokens. I sent some Ethereum here. Now that your wallet's set up, let's go into the next one. So now you need to get some separately at ETH. If you guys have been watching my channel, you guys know we should always claim some of these every day or every few days because you always need it for different tasks. And there's different websites where you can get separately ETH, but this is one of them. Get your separately ETH, put Ethereum address from your MetaMask in here and get the ETH. Next, what you want to do is we're going to bridge the ETH. You need your Eclipse address here. You can see it says your Eclipse address. This would have your Ethereum address. And then you can choose how much to send. I send like one whole ETH. It's, it's, it's Tesla ETH, right? And your Eclipse address. So your Eclipse address, you'll go in here and then unlock your wallet. Just click on Eclipse. It should be already here. And then just receive and then copy this address. And then hit it there. It won't let me do it. And I won't try because I don't want to bug this out. And then hit Bridge. And then you should see it come up. You, you're sending ETH, right? What they will do, you might not show straight away, they will put it as ETH. So they will put it as ETH here. But in, in some of the exchanges, it will show up as ETH. Just, just bear that in mind. I sent one and I think I swapped some. So that's why it's less than one. And now that you've done that, there's three different websites where you can claim and you need to interact with. The first one is called Open Book. And here, you first go to Airdrop and just claim one by one these these this Airdrop. Once you've done that, go to Trade and try to do the trade. Now, because we're very early, a lot of this stuff is very buggy. But just do what you can and come back to every week because they'll fix the bugs and then you'll be able to just add these sites to your daily or add my video because I'll have all the links in the description. Just add my video in your like daily tasks list and then come back to every week and then just see if these work. But what you need to do is get the tokens, try to mint, a hit, you know, you need to collect your wallet and then basically mint, you'll, you'll hit uh, for this. And then the same thing with this website. The swap function doesn't work properly. My friend had some success with, with, I don't know, it's not coming up. Maybe because I reinstalled it, that's why, because it wasn't showing up and I had to reinstall it. But you'd have to connect your wallet. And then what you do, just use all the stats on the website. So you do some swaps. First, what you'd have to do is go on the full set and then add these non two, two numbers up and then hit get, and they will give you some tokens. So you need to do that a few times. Once you get the tokens, then you'll be able to do some swapping and then some pooling. I couldn't get... I think I couldn't get either one or two work, but I tried it. It worked my, for my friend. So I know it works, but it's just very, very buggy. It's very early. Just keep that in mind. What did work for me, though, is this website, emarkets.clone.so. And I connected my wallet. I don't know why my wallet's not even showing up now. But I connected my wallet. And all I done was I went to trade, test net fit. And um, I got the, I got the faucet tokens. That's that faucet, but there's another faucet. If you go on home, yeah, that was showing up for some reason with the yeah, connect so here you can see get testnet usd as you can see i done it twice every time you do it, you get roughly a hundred dollars worth it's not real money and then once you get that just go to trade and then just trade some of the tokens it will give you like different tokens i think it gave me usdc or something test usdc yes it gives you usd usd but test test tokens and then you can do swaps and the idea is these websites use clips chain and the the test chain right now so it's just very early, but there's something you can do right now. And that's what it is, guys. There's three websites you need to interact with. And the rest are just claiming the tokens, etc. Last, lastly, you just want to go on their Discord, follow them on Discord, be active. And this is with every project, really. Be active, try to help people out. If you learn something interesting or that would help other people out, mention it here. And, um, you know, sometimes they have roles, etc. But uh, you want to join all of their socials, including Discord. Hey guys, I hope you got that. I hope you got some value from this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.